Do you need a quick way to follow up on a post or a chat within Teams? Maybe you mark things as unread and think, okay, I'll go back to that way. Um, but what I'm about to show you is a way to have a reminder pop up. So you could also make a task out of a post, by the way, uh, I'll cover that in a different video. In this video, I'm just going to show you the really quick automation you can set in place so that you can be reminded about a post that you want to revisit. So I have it already in place here. I will show you how it works and then I'm going to show you how to create it from scratch. So I'm on a message that says check out this file. I'm going to go to the three dots at the top and then from here is the automation I've already created and I'll show you. Um, but the automation says follow up on a post or a chat. So this is a post within one of my team's channels. Okay, pick a date and a time and then whatever notes you want to put along with it and let's see how this works. So I'm going to submit this. So the pop-up has come and gone. And we also want to notice that our activity bell has a number on it, letting us know that there's some activity that's just happened. So let's click on that. And you'll see from my activity bell, it says follow up on a post and it's taking me right to that post that says check this file out. So it knew what to remind me of and it took me right there. Now I'm going to show you how this was created through the workflows and I'm going to, we're going to create one from scratch. So notice at the left side of my screen, I have a workflows button. I'm going to click on that and show you that one of my workflows says follow up on a post or a chat. So that's the one that I have in use that is allowing me to do that reminder. And in fact, if I go over to the right side here, there's the three dots. I can run a history on how many times this flow has actually ran. So how many times have I used it? So I'm going to go to run history and you're going to see that the one we just did three minutes ago has succeeded. So it's showing me that each time it ran, it ran successfully. So let's show you how to get this working for you. So I'm going to have you go to the left side of your screen and you should have a plus apps button. I'm going to have you click on that. And then in the search apps or more, just type in workflows, workflows, plural. And this is the Microsoft application that's working within Microsoft 365. And as you can see, it's working within Teams. You're going to have it there as an op with an option to add. I already have it. So that's why mine says open. So you can choose add. And then once you add it, you can to pin it on the left side of your screen. You're just going to right click on the icon once it shows up there and choose pin. Mine says unpin right now just because I've already pinned it, uh, but that's how you're going to have it showing up there. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that workflows. So this is the same screen I took you to earlier showing you the flows that I have in fact going, but I want you to look down further here and that's where it's showing some popular templates. So the template I'm using is called follow up on a post or a chat. There is one that's similar because that says follow up on a message. All right, it appears that within the new Teams version that I'm using, follow up on a post or a chat is no longer the wording for the workflow. It's now follow up on a message. So that's fine. We'll use this one. So if I click on this, then the flow name is showing up as follow up a message. We can leave it that way unless you want to change it. It's I like leaving it so I know which flow I used, but up to you. You want to make sure that both of these apps are signed in. Teams should be one that's automatically signed in for you since you're using it, but uh, uh, the 365 one might need, need a minute for you to tell it to sign in. So then just create flow. Okay, so if I go to my workflows now, it's showing follow up on a message. So that's the newest version of follow up in a post or a chat. So let's just see how this shows up in our message areas. So I'm going to go to Teams. I'm just going to go to a different message here and go to the three dots and I see fall up on a message is in my menu now as well as the one that I had there previously, which I don't really need both of them, but let's just choose fall up on message and we'll see that the layout of it is exactly the same as the one I just showed you. Okay. So put in your details. I'm going to submit that. And so I'm in my teams and in my channels doing this. I could go to my chat area and do this as well. So I'm in my chat area. I just picked the chat for project X, Y, Z. I'm going to go to this message here and the three dots just above that message. And notice that I have both those options in my menu, fall up on a post and fall up on a message. So I can do that little reminder for myself in either a team and a channel or in my chat area. And so it's just allowing you to have that that pop up. So hopefully that helps you keep on top of your messages and all your posts within Teams. If you want to learn more about keeping on top of stuff or task management in the Teams area, then be sure to check out my YouTube video on Microsoft Planner. Thank you. Bye-bye.